Hi, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the new Wes Anderson film, Asteroid City. This film has been highly anticipated by fans of Anderson's work, and it's finally here. So, how does it measure up? There's a lot to like about Asteroid City. The film is visually stunning, as you would expect from an Anderson film. The cinematography is beautiful, and the set design is incredibly detailed. The cast is also great, with a number of Anderson regulars, as well as some new faces. The film also has a lot of heart. It's a story about family, loss, and hope. It's funny, heartwarming, and thought-provoking. Anderson's signature style is on full display in this film, and it's a joy to watch, it is the year 1955. A little desert town in the American Southwest is working with a lesser stargazer slash space select show. The town is called Space Rock City and is a notable item for young people who are enthusiastic about stargazing and space examination. One of the members of the show is Augie Steinbeck, a contention photojournalist who is regretting the new passing of his life partner. Woodrow, Augie's child, and his three little girls are with him. Woodrow is a splendid little fellow who is exceptionally intrigued by innovation and science. Different young ladies are through and through not quite the same as each other, yet they are close to their fathers. Until one evening, when a UFO lands in the desert beyond Space Rock City, the show is working out in a good way. The town is in a mess the next morning. The military has been acquired, and the public authority is endeavoring to remain silent about the presence of the UFO. In the confusion are Augie and his loved ones. They are compelled to manage the public authorities' endeavors to disguise reality and witness the UFO for themselves. Augie and his family start to scrutinize their own impression of the world as they endeavor to get a handle on the circumstance. The events in Space Rock City fundamentally influence Augie and his friends and family. They find that the world is a lot more interesting than they had expected. Furthermore, they find that there is something else to life besides misfortune and despondency. The UFO is a tremendous, metallic thing that isn't typical for whatever has any time been seen. The public power's undertakings to disguise the truth are driven by expansive Gibson, a cold-blooded military authority. Augie and his family become colleagues with a social occasion of young people who are in like manner propelled by the UFO. Augie and his family are helped with diving more deeply into the UFO and its starting points by the youngsters. The film closes with Augie and his family leaving Space Rock City, yet they are not comparative people they were the place where they appeared. They have a new point of view on the world not entirely set in stone to have an effect. In the long run, Augie and his family find one more sensation of trust and reason. That's what they know, regardless of whether it is just a little one, they have the ability to influence the world. This film exhibits how Augie and his family can move past their despondency and track down expect the future, as well as how the UFO assists them with tracking down reclamation. They have an opportunity to begin once again because of the UFO, which is a fresh start for them. A portion of the serious subjects of despondency, misfortune, trust, and reclamation are mindfully and definitively investigated in this film's entertaining minutes to assist with easing up the temperament. Thanks for watching my review of Asteroid City. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel for more content. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.